today what I'm going to talk about is action text. Um, and it's not really a super deep dive, but I think for uh, for beginners, uh, it, it should be enough knowledge to kind of understand how things work and then enough for you to uh, go and dig the code base more by yourself. Uh, okay, so what is action text, right? Um, action text is like, it's a, what you see is what you get editor. So literally, um, you can change the markup and you can see exactly how is it look, how does it look like uh, on the editor itself. If, if it's a header, how big it is, if there's an image, where is the image placed, etc. And it's actually uh, uh, based on tricks by Basecamp. So actually, the, the editor is called Tricks uh, and built by Basecamp, which is the by the founder of, which is the company owned by the founder of Ruby on Rails, DHH. And then after they built Tricks, then they sort of uh, push it into Rails 6 for everybody to use. So basically, they open source the code and then they, and then they started to build action tags, uh, which is based off this uh, uh, Tricks. Uh, like gem or library. So she's introduced recently, okay, recently a lot, uh, maybe one half a year ago, real six, uh, and and they call it action tech. So this is like some convention. So so I, I'm gonna do a demo of what what does it like. And okay, where's the rest of my browser? But uh ah, okay. Okay, sorry, I need to. So, sorry, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so, um, so for example, there's a post uh, model, just a basic, basic scaffolding of a, a model in Ruby on Rails. So, for example, if I um, create a new post, then this, uh, the title is, if you are, we are all probably quite familiar with this. Uh, just a title, a normal, um, normal form field, text field, input in the database. And then this is what the, 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 what you see is what you get editor looks like. Okay. So, so you can do a, a title and you can do a H1 and then you can probably do a, what should schedule for, for today, and then we have a meet and greet. So it's literally, um, then what tops? Okay, then if we want, we can also attach some image. Okay, oh, what is this? What is this here? Okay. Schedule for today, and then what we see is like. This this is what we call a rich editor. We can do like all this markup stuff, and then when we create a post, uh, you can see that like it looks like almost exactly the same, except that the width is different. So this is what we call, or uh, what 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 is referred to as, what you see is what you get editor. Okay, then when you, you can go back and edit, and you can change change stuff. It all it all still is like what you see is what you get. Okay. So, um, so this is what I'm gonna go through today. Like, uh, how how does all this work? Uh, and it's all native in Rails. So it means that today, if you want to use this and you you start a new project Rails six, you probably you probably can get to like such a get a, such an editor, uh, pretty very easily. Okay, very easily. So, so that's the demo. So. I'm also gonna talk about how to get started using this. I think this is like the most important part because knowing how it all works, but then you don't know how to use it, it's like a bit pointless. So I'm gonna uh, go through some of the code, but I'm gonna go through this thing first. So like all Rails stuff, Rails C stuff, uh, how, how things are done, we always have a rig task. Uh, so in this case, it's an action text install which will generate some automated code and some migration files to set, set things up. Then um, then we can, because there's a migration file, 
So we, we have to uh, run a DB migrate. And then if we want to support image attachments, we need this gem called image processing, which we need to install. Then after that, uh, after that, um, for our model, we need to use this method called has rich text content. Like how, how we always see has one, has many, this, has many, that, right? So has so this this time round is a has rich text. And then the content part is like the just the name of the field you want you want to use. So in this case I have a post and then the title and the content. So for here I write a content. Then when you want to show the 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 what you see is what you get content, right? You we can just in the ERB we can just do add post, which is the instance variable. Then you just dot content, it will naturally it will automatically render the entire markup with the image, everything for you. And then for a form, uh, form field, we probably very familiar as that form dot text area if you want something like that. And in this case, uh, it will be the rich text area, which is also a method provided by um, action text. And then this, and then the next part is when the form submission come back, we just like like all other form uh, form input. Like passing, we we just uh, require post and permit the content. Um, that this is uh is pretty conventional, like how other um, real stuff works. So so just so here I will just quickly like run through the steps just now. So so for here, uh, this is the. Action text install method. So I, I have a commit here. So after you do action text install, some of the things that generates is this automated. Some of the uh, files that are automatically generated, like this is the SCSS file for some styling of the of the tricks editor, which is the what you see, what you get editor. Uh, some JavaScript stuff, uh, some block. Uh, if you are familiar with action active storage stuff that supports all the image um, upload stuff, okay? But the important part is here. Uh, so, so, eh? sorry, the important part is here. So this action text, which text, so actually it creates a table, um, generates a migration file to create a table. And I'll go through this later, uh, but in short, this, all this, what you see is what you get. Uh, uh, content, right? It's all supported by a new table, a dedicated table that saves all this, uh, all this HTML markup that is generated by the tricks editor. So, uh, just just keep in mind later we will re revisit uh this this table. Then, okay, then just some schema, uh, schema stuff and some JavaScript files. So, uh, so I did a standard scaffold, just scaffold title, and that's it. Okay. So, so one interesting thing is that when we do a scaffold here, uh, I'm not sure whether I can show properly. So this is just Rails G scaffold. So I think we are all very familiar. But one one thing that I just want to point out is that when you scaffold um something, you which you want to use the rich rich content for, right? You don't scaffold the like the content. So basically you scaffold everything else other than the content. Because like just now I, I I briefly touched on is that because the rich content is supported by a separate database table, a dedicated one. So you don't need the you don't need a, a new database a field column on your this post table. To support that one, you just you just like do a association, a link to that to that one, and then your post will get a uh, a rich content field something like that, and then, um, uh, and then the next part is that how to after you scaffold, uh, as usual. Then this is the part where just now I talk about like how to use, right. So the first thing is you just do a rich content, has rich text, and then content. So it's like an association to a, a, a rich text. Basically, the, the, the model that is going to back this 
uh, like this, what you see is what you get content, like HTML body. Okay, so so this is like, then you do an association. So now post will have, has, have a rich text. And then, um, and then when you want to render it, you just do this post content in show.html.erb. So, and then in the form, uh, the form partial, instead of uh, text area, we can use rich text area. Just point, point back to this content. And then, yeah, then that's all. So it's pretty like uh, conventional, I would say. So you can very easily like start to embed uh, what you see is what you get from editor into your app if you, if you already have one. Now all of this like, Pretty straightforward. Oh, and one more is that you just permit the content, uh, and then you use these post params to create your post or or create your whatever model, uh, you want. So, so, uh, so using it is really quite easy, but the interesting thing is like how how does it work? So today I'm gonna go through like, uh, slightly, uh, deeper, but not all the way because I think it'll be very confusing. So like enough for you to go and like find out uh, more when you start uh, want to dig, dig into the Rails code. So how does it work? So um, so like I said uh, just now that actually this action text, right? Uh, is backed by a dedicated table. So, so it's like just now I have the post table, which is mine, right? I created it. And then it does, then it put, has many, con, uh, has rich text, like content. And then it actually is an association to a new model uh, provided by action text. So this is, and the model is called action text, rich text. And that model itself has a table. So this table um, has some, some stuff here, name, body, record type, record ID, all these are like how, how these action text, because it all came come as a package, right? So they have a way to associate, uh, like all done for you. But basically the text body is where the HTML markup will be saved. And then when you do a, like for example, the post.content, then when you try and inspect, right? What's the value of the post.content, right? You see that it's like GA action text, rich text object like how we do association between our own models, like a, a same. So basically it's an association to a, a action text, rich text object. So then, uh, so then has rich text, uh, this is how we start to build. Just now I talk about the table, right? So now it's set up already. Then now in our, in our model, our own personal model, then we put has rich text. Uh, content, right, or has rich text, like uh, input, something like that, whatever you want to name your, that field that is supposed to be the rich text. So for you, so so here you can see that it's actually some, some meta programming. So when when you write has rich, has rich text and you put a name there, what you will generate is uh, some of this stuff. So here you can see that, uh, like, here you can see that, like if you do has post, dot content, like in my case, example is post.content, right? Then in line 20, 30, it actually references to rich text uh, content, this meta programming like created rich text content. And where, where does it point to is actually in line like 42. It's like a, actually it's a has one. Uh, so it means that it's actually a has one rich text uh, content. Uh. And, and the class name is uh, action text, rich text. So here clearly you can see that it's an association. So it's literally, if you don't want to write all this, you can also just write has one like rich text for them. And then you, 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 you type, type it out yourself, how, like how you type it out for your own uh, associations or your yeah, associations between your model. Yeah, so here, the I think the most important point is to understand that it's an association. And then the object that is associated to is actually rich text, uh, action text, rich text. And it's a object that is provided by action text, uh, the action 
yeah, provided by Exchange Tax, which is from Rails, uh, like package with, with Rails. So it's uh, native, okay, native to the Rails ecosystem. So in on the front end, um, then just gonna touch a little bit on the front end, uh, uh, so that right we we talk about both the back end and front end how to connect it together. So uh, if you are familiar with this, what what you see is what you get editor. Like a lot of people, most of the editors out there, they use this this thing called content editable. Like basically you put your like p tag for example p tag and then this html attribute you put content editable then then you you realize oh you can suddenly uh, type html uh in the html something like that so so but for tricks i think this is what they say on um, i haven't inspect their like javascript library yet so all these are javascript on the front end they they sort of hijack uh the all the keystrokes and then they do all the re-rendering after on every keystroke. So so um but still still important to know that like all these things that got that gets rendered on tricks in the front end, right? They are all essentially HTML code. Okay. So so why is this like uh, worth noting is that because it's all HTML, right? Later when you submit the file, right? goes to our our Rails backend, right? It's literally all HTML. Uh, it's just uh, escape HTML, that's all. Ah, okay, yeah, so this is the next part. So so there, when you, when you do all the JavaScript magic, uh, change the header size, all the stuff, right? Then it's all HTML, ma, right? So when you put, do the post submission, right? I think we're all familiar like with action controller params. You get a title, you get the content, and like one value for each of their form field. Then you then you see here, post params content is actually a, a HTML. So, uh, oh, anyway, I, I, I never say. For, for this first part, right, I, I'm just ignoring all the images uh, because it's gonna get complicated. Uh, so I'm just talking about, oh, how the rest of the, what you see while you get editor, is like, uh, like uh, bullet points or like, uh, it italics or bold, all the stuff, all the stuff. Okay, so here you can see that, um, that what is submitted back is actually HTML, and then when we save it, it actually save your post, and you also create a action text rich text record in the separate table, and it just references to it. So so it literally, it's HTML in the database. Okay, and then when you want to render it. Uh, when how how does action text render it? When you do post content because it's a action text rich text object ma right, and then when ERB uh wants to render this post content which is an action text rich text object, uh usually it just calls as far as I understand usually it just calls like to string on on that object. So then how does this action text rich text object, uh this Ruby object suddenly transform to all the transform to all the HTML code, right? So so here we, we can see this is from the real source code that when we call to S on this action text rich text uh, object, it actually uh sort delegate to the body of this action text rich text. So the body is where if you if you see the previous slide, the body is where the HTML is, right? So it, it um, it, it actually returns the body, but this time around the body is passed, is like sort of like a clustered into this action text content uh, object, uh, which then it, it just do some sanitization, which is not uh, not important at this point. Uh, but basically it returns that uh, HTML uh, that is saved in the database. So, so that is how like, you when you render show right, it's still all like sort of uh, formatted nicely in HTML because it's saved as HTML and it's rendered as HTML. So so um so when you do the this to s when it, when it, when it, uh, you you call to s to it and it returns the HTML and then uh here oh probably I skip one step because the to s is called uh, on the action text 
content object, right? Because it's clustered into action text content object. Um, then you call the to S onto the action text content object. Then this action text content uh, will render. So here to S is uh, to render HTML layout. So it renders the HTML content, but with some layout around it. And then it's rendered inside this partial, like in short, okay. Might be a bit complicated, but basically, right, it's not rendered as it is, but it's rendered as it is on uh with a layout wrap around it. Yeah. So so but the layout doesn't change anything now. But basically the, the 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 HTML is what what you see. And then now is the last. So now we, we can uh submit form, submit the form, we can save it, uh, we can display it. And then uh, the form submission is uh, pretty straightforward also. So you do uh, standard real stuff, you do form with something, then you just do form, then dot rich text area content. And then there's some form helpers here that is provided by uh, action text, which is like hooked into rails. And then this rich text area actually generates an input and a tricks editor. Uh, like two, two uh, HTML nodes. And then uh, it's linked together by an auto-generated ID, ID and input. Uh, so I think this is also uh, the same way as how we do labels and inputs, uh, how to tie it together. And then uh, and then the editor, there's a top bar or two bar, right? It's just provided by action text automatically. It's automatically in so in like high level, uh high level is is like that. So uh it's backed by this separate model and it does an association and it does some rendering uh by action text uh of the HTML that is saved and and voila, you we have this like suddenly we have this. Uh, what you see is what you get later. So for the next part, like I'm gonna go into attaching images. Uh, so just a disclaimer. Uh, this I'm not gonna like go into very specific details for this one. Uh, because it's gonna be very confusing, especially if you are not familiar with active storage at all, or you are not familiar with how to. How, how file uploads, uh, all these things uh, can work or should work well, or should be designed to work well. Okay, so so most most of them are just text and ideas. So I'm going to talk about the ideas about how, how generally how it works. So the first thing is, uh, it's the same, the tricks editor, you can type your own everything, right? It's all HTML. And then uh, what happens when you drag a file into the editor? So if you are familiar with uh, active storage, uh, now we have, now we want to do a file upload. So immediately, right, there's the Rails UJS thing that happens be behind the scenes, and then you will do a post request to this active storage direct upload uh, path. And this path actually creates a active storage block record. Uh, so this record is in the database. It, it doesn't save the file. It just generates like a record that. Uh, that references to a file, but the file is not existent yet. You just create a record. So now this record is like sort of hanging. Uh, you have a record, but you don't have a file backing this record. So this post request will return a uh, direct upload URL and a sign ID. So now, now the UGS do the post and got the direct upload URL, right? And this is when the JavaScript uh, library, which is tricks, will then do the file upload to the URL. So it's like a two-step process. First, you, 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 you ask Rails, can you give me a direct upload URL? Then you use this direct upload URL to upload the file. OK, so uh, this is the, the first step, how the file is uploaded uh, onto the Rails server. OK, so when the direct upload URL like is used to upload the server, right? at the same time, the 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 JavaScript library uh, generates this figure, HTML figure tag. So this is like constructed on the front end. And then uh, it's just 
this how like for example if you're familiar with html you want to uh, you want to create a image with a with a caption right you always have to create this figure figure tag you put the image tag inside it and then you create a figure caption tag to write some caption so this is all pretty standard html which is generated and a lot of meta meta uh text here or a lot of html attributes here which is for now is not important it's just how it all ties together but basically it, it generates uh so the file is uploaded at the same time is generated uh this this figure html and then it's inserted into the tricks editor and because this the image url for this generated figure tag right is actually um a url that points to the file that you are going to upload so maybe for a while, the, this file is like so no loading or a blank file. But after a while, it will it will load the full image after the file uploads. Missing. So so literally, how this file upload is done, right? Is that background the, the the JavaScript library will just do the upload, and then then a a, a figure a HTML figure a node is created and just inserted into the code or uh, into the into the what you see is by your editor and then that's how you see oh suddenly you got an image in your editor as html because or oh, because it's a html inserted uh, so so then um uh, this part is like a bit more complicated so so although we we see the image like in the tricks editor right but in the back but uh, as far as this app is concerned, you haven't saved the input. So, so this image, right, is still not associated with the rich text. So, so when you press uh, save, right, then the just now like what I said, the HTML is sent, the entire HTML, right, so now it includes the figure, figure tag. The entire HTML is sent to the back, to controller. And then if you can remember, just now we see uh, post per ramps uh, content is like literally just HTML, right? So here is that there's some magic gonna happen. Is that uh the action text content uh object will sort of like massage this figure and look for uh look for this figure data tricks attachment tag uh thing, which is what was created by tricks and inserted into the rich tag just now. You will look for all this and then you will like translate all of them into uh action text attachment like and then it's just safe safe as like that so there's no more figure figure tag in the html that is saved in the database and then and then you will then then they will also oh then it's just like that so now it's associated in in a sense using the sgid which is a sign global id and uh you and then this sign global ID is actually a, a, a Rails thing. La. If you don't know that in Rails, there's actually this global ID library that you can use to reference uh, objects in, in your Rails like, ecosystem. And then when, and then because the figure tag is gone, right, it's like, translated to this action text attachment and saved in the database. Then when we want to render it, uh, it will just like sort of like undo or like translate it back law. So action text attachment is translated back to the same figure tag uh, uh, thing. So that's all. Uh, so there's some magic here is that we attach a figure tag when it's saved to, when it's sent to the back end, it's translated to this action text attachment. Then when we want to like render it out again, it just translates back to the figure. So uh so then we, we see the action this see this image again in our front end uh, might be a bit complicated but if you have any questions you can ask me ask me later uh, if not you can ask me for this slide and you can dig, dig the code base at this point i think like it's already quite confusing uh, for some might be already confusing for some people so okay so so i also talk talk through this just now about the rendering translating it back to the figure figure part so, uh, so there are some reference here, references here that you can use to, uh, to to see or to like understand more about how how this action text deal deal with 
uh, it's pretty interesting uh, to understand how all this tie together. This like, might be what some people call like some magic lah. Uh, but it's it's actually a quite quite well designed like code how it all all links the front end and back end and how 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 and the active storage all together. Um yeah. So I think I'm at the end of the talk and I like overrun by a lot. Uh anybody has any questions? Hey, uh, assume this is only available in real six, right? It's not uh, uh, available at the gem, available in previous versions like a four or five. No, no, it's only real six. Okay. I, no, no, no. I think that um, you can install action text by itself in previous versions. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think it's a separate, I think you can uh, install it as a separate gem. So, okay. uh, but in real six is already in. So okay. understand. Yeah, yeah. So as far as I understand, right, is because back when it was in Rails, I think Rails five or like the the release candidates, uh, Rails six versions, right? It's not officially in yet. So that's how they do it. They they install the action text gem, and they do some require, and then uh, and then. And then now they have action text in the rails, which which wasn't shipped with action text. So I think you still can do it. Okay. Okay, I'll check it out. Mm. Thanks. Thanks. Very useful feature. Does anybody have any other questions? Oh. Okay, if not, uh I'm gonna stop talking. 